Our immune system is a force to be reckoned with. Through evolution, we've gained an entire arsenal for fighting off potentially harmful microbes of all sorts, including bacteria, viruses, and parasites. To defend the body against invaders, the immune system must be able to distinguish between what belongs in the body and what does not. The immune system can make this distinction because all cells have identification molecules known as antigens on their surface. Microorganisms are recognized because the identification molecules on their surface are foreign. Our bodies possess two types of immunity, innate and adaptive. The innate immune response consists of the activation and participation of pre-existing mechanisms, including natural barriers such as the skin and mucosa and secretions, the main purpose being to immediately prevent the spread and movement of foreign pathogens throughout the body. Adaptive or acquired immunity is the part of the system with a memory. White blood cells called lymphocytes encounter an invader, learn how to attack it, and remember the specific invader so that they can attack it even more efficiently the next time they encounter it. Acquired immunity takes time to develop after the initial encounter with a new invader because the lymphocytes must adapt to it. However, thereafter, response is quick. Maintaining a strong defense takes some work. During the recent COVID-19 pandemic, there has been heightened interest in the varying levels of immunity shown by individuals and the possibility of boosting immune system response. Indeed, some factors that compromise our immune system are difficult to control, such as aging. As we age, our internal organs may become less efficient. Immune-related organs like the thymus or bone marrow produce less of the immune cells needed to fight off infections. Aging is also sometimes associated with micronutrient deficiencies, which may worsen a declining immune function. However, several others can be managed to some degree, including diets, exercise, and sleep. Getting a handle over these factors is the best way to ensure that our immune system is operating at its full potential, which is critical during times of illness.